And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Friday morning to you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful start to the day so far. It's a pretty nice start across the Arklamis. Lots of sunshine, a little bit warm though. Probably noticing that as you step out the door this morning. We're seeing upper 70s to lower 80s now at this hour. The sun continues to warm us up here. And we are on the fast track to uh, hitting those 90 degree temperatures once again. Middle to, or lower to middle 90s can be expected across the vast majority of the Arklamis today. And uh, we will have some potential for storms, but it really won't amount to much, at least going on right now. Live radar not showing anything going on across the Arklamis, and uh, we do have that potential for some pop-up storms, mainly during the uh, afternoon and evening hours. I know Future Tracker's not picking up on that activity too well here, but um, that chance will exist. We're going to be watching this uh, storm complex, though, as we head into later tonight into early tomorrow morning, and this will be our best chance of rain over the next uh, probably 12 hours or so, and uh, it'll sweep through the Arklamis, even potentially bringing the chance for some severe weather as it does move through. But after the remainder of... Uh, Saturday should remain dry. And then our Sunday looking good as well before we start to see bands of crystal ball starting to move into the Arklamis here as early as uh, late Sunday night into Monday morning. So, or most of Monday actually. So, kind of the short term here, at least for our weather tonight, it, here's our uh, severe weather outlook. Again, uh, we have a, a slight risk, a two out of five for a good chunk of the Arklamis, marginal risk for everybody else, and that's to include that damaging straight line wind threat that these storms will pose as uh, they move through the Arklamis tonight. As far as crystal ball, currently still sitting at a tropical depression here. But again, uh, it's weakened a little bit due to being on land. But as it moves back into a more favorable environment, over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours or so, it'll re-strengthen back to a tropical storm. It'll move pretty much due northward for a little while before it curves westward, and then eventually running right over us as we head into Monday. So again, the main potential, at least out of this system, is going to be a heavy rainfall. And uh, we could see some locations seeing three to five inches of rain, maybe even some locally higher amounts. So good news is though, at least we have not been seeing a lot of rain over the last few weeks. Grounds are relatively dry, at least dry enough to help absorb a lot of that rainfall. So flooding, at least widespread flooding doesn't appear to be a huge issue. However, we will see some localized flooding. So as uh, we go through the next few days, again, uh, temperatures will generally be in the 80s and 90s. So it'll be warm, but the good news is we do have some dry times to look forward to after Cristobal moves out by the time we get to next Wednesday and Thursday. Anna? A preliminary hearing in